Can I speak to Charlie and Debbie, please? <laughs> um, that all depends. Is this the Blake Shelton that once upon a time visited a married morning show in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and had a guy stuff a joint in his pocket? <laughs> it was actually an entire bag of bag of weed, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I'm glad to see you I remember. Thought, are you? Is this the same Charlie and Debbie that tried to have me arrested? That's what I thought in my mind. That you guys, I was framed. All I know is you ran into the bathroom. I didn't see you for 20 minutes. You came back out. Why does a sheet? It said, is the security guy gone? I said, why? He says, that guy from Bud's Best Cookies just shoved weed in my pocket. <laughs> man, you know how times have changed. If he'd have done that now, it would have been like, oh, thanks, man. I just... I don't, I don't turn around. It's probably it's probably legal oh, now it, in every state. It seems like. Yeah, Thanks, pretty buddy. much. Blake, you got to help me with something here. I, I made a little list coming in. Johnny Cash was never in prison. Merle Haggard was, but not for life, and he never killed anybody, despite the lyrics to Mama Tried. Brad Paisley was never adopted. His parents never divorced, but he did write The Man He Didn't Have to Be. And even though I'm not 100% certain on this one, I don't think when Madonna sang Like a Virgin, that was her physical state. So you perform a song with the words (laughs) minimum wage in the chorus and the title, and people freak out? Well, let me take it a step further. I, I never killed anybody in the song Old Red. I never actually did that and went to jail and then used a dog to break out of prison. <laughs> By now, I think the police would have caught on to me. Uh, also, uh, in, in The Baby, I sang about the, the fact that my mother died before I could get there, and, and my mother is still alive about six miles away from me right now. So, Furthermore, you and Garth Brooks sang about playing a dive bar, and neither one of you have done that since Jesus played fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus played fiddle. That's good. Now you know the, well, the thing about minimum wage. The song is that's actually that is me. I, I worked for most of my still the better part of my life for hell less than less than minimum wage. My, you know my first couple of jobs were roofing houses and and I'm not sure, but I don't think I even made minimum wage back then for a couple of years. And uh, but I didn't care. I I uh, I was just trying to figure out what I could do to make ends meet so I could do do music, which is ultimately what I what I dreamed of doing, you know. Well, yeah, and obviously people dream of that. They make their dream a success, and it's happened for yeah. you, and we couldn't be happier for you. But everybody you. starts somewhere. I mean, do you think it's fair to kind of pigeonhole artists into that, that once you reach this level of success, certain topics and songs are off limits to you? No, I don't. And I and – not only that, I don't think anybody really feels that way. I mean, if if, if you're complaining, you know, with minimum wage, when when we debuted it on the on the uh, New Year's Eve show, you know, there was a handful of people that they just look to pick a fight. People these days, they're just they're just hiding in the bushes and and they want to pick a fight about something. It doesn't matter what it is. I mean, if you can listen to the lyrics of of minimum wage. And somehow find something offensive about it, then uh, you know we'll just have to agree to to disagree about that. That's the thing, Blake. Are people just pissed? Is that what the problem is? I mean, two years ago, if you put out this song, does anybody say a word? No. I, the, I, I also think social media is. When, when I saw there was some blowback on that at first, I thought, oh wow, you know, the God, the last thing I want to do is offend people that was not my intention you know just this is just a love song about basically if 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 you got love then then you got all that really matters at, at the end of the day and and who hasn't who hasn't been there or wants to be there you know that's a what, what a positive great message and and so when i looked into to what the hubbub was about i realized it, it amounted to about six people on twitter <laughs> <laughs> who aren't obviously aren't country music fans and they don't know anything about the traditions and the history of the songs that that we sing. I mean, if we had to to, to live up to to that standard, then Merle Haggard would have had to stop playing Working Man Blues and 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 I guess uh, Alan Jackson would have to stop singing Living on Love and Chris Stapleton can't sing Millionaire anymore because he is a millionaire. I, I don't know the end game. It's it, and it, the whole thing is just – I don't want to dismiss it and, and, and uh, to say it's, it's stupid, but it, it, it's absolutely over the top. And, and I decided that 
I, I wasn't even going to respond to those people and and because they're that's what they're looking for you know they're just wanting to pick a fight and and nothing's going to make them happy and there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just, I'm sorry they're they're so unhappy. Well, and that's really the best approach, I think, because I took the lyrics as a very uplifting, especially in the times we've gone through that, you know, we may not have a lot right now, but we really, the most important thing is if we have each other. Right. And the song is, is a reflection on that. I look back on my days whenever I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent, sometimes didn't, uh, which, and that went on for years, by the way. Uh, I think back at that, and I, those are some of my favorite memories of my life. You know, those were the memories that taught me, that gave me the drive to to want to do something and, and put put the fire underneath me. And those are some of the best times of my life. I wouldn't trade them for anything. Debbie and I are running out of time to find those days where we could look back on those times. And <laughs> I think we're still I'm, on I'm, I'm, Not only that, but I was just thinking, you know, he's talking about, you know, all this great love and stuff. We've been married 27 years. I'm still aspiring for you to get to that point. <laughs> I'm staying out of that. <laughs> we think the song's great. We think all these people suck. And even though you won't speak out against them, I want to kick them in the throat. Does that work for you there you go between you and trace atkins i there won't be a survivor yeah you got a lot of support from everybody we're looking forward to hearing the song more and more and we're also looking forward to the voice kicking off in march well right? and i'm looking forward to that wedding invitation that's coming next week right <laughs> Ooh, i tell you what man if if we can have a if we can have a wedding that we can invite people to that's the big question i mean we we haven't even made a definite wedding plans yet because Every day you wake up and turn on the news, and there's a, there's some other different thing happening where you go, well, I guess, guess that's shut down. I guess this is shut down. So we don't even know what we're going to do. Well, yet. hell, you built your own church on your property. It ain't like you got to book a joint. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We'd like to have our parents here, though. So uh, that, that is honestly the big question. It's like we got to – so we feel good about, you know, getting her parents out of California for – enough time to be here and have a have a wedding and it's a dilemma it there's no question about it well maybe if you could get from making minimum wage you could afford some hazmat suits to dress your family in for the wedding because that would make a hell of a portrait <laughs> man it would i bet we could get some you talk about headlines <laughs> yeah i don't know gwen would like that for her bridesmaids dresses <laughs> <laughs> aliens invade stefani shelton wedding you know she wears some pretty crazy outfits people may not even notice now that i think about it <laughs>